Report says, welcome trick-or-treaters, or if it's scary. Great Days' Courtney Perna has some easy ways to get the look you're going for using power tools. Hey, Courtney. Yes, Deborah. Well, first, I got to find a pumpkin. I'm hanging out at St. Luke's Methodist Church over here on Westheimer and Edlow. All the proceeds from this pumpkin patch, oh, this one looks good, goes towards the Pure Sound Youth Choir here at the church to help them on trips and, you know, with some of their expenses there. But... What we're going to do now, once you have your pumpkin, my friend Jeff Jansen from Mr. Handyman here is going to help us out. Now, Mr. Handyman basically takes care of your honey-do list, you know, that your husband or son or someone's supposed to do. Mr. Handyman can take it and take it and everything off, basically, right? That's our job. All right. What we're doing today is power tools with pumpkins because this, this I, you know, it was cute when I was a kid, but it's not going to cut it right now, right? Not at all. We want this. Yeah. I feel like Tim the Tool Man Taylor. It's going to be awesome. I need more power. All right, so what we're first going to do is make a pumpkin statue. We've already pounded this PVC pipe into the ground, and the next step, Jeff, is really easy, right? All we have to do is just drill a pumpkin, but first we want to make sure we're wearing our safety glasses. Oh, yeah, I'm already sporting mine. That's All right, great. so you just, like, you don't have to gut it or anything. This is one I just picked up out of the patch here, and you just Very simple. drill just it. I, I don't use power tools, so this in. is frightening, but... Woo! Yeah! Look at that. That was easy. Flip it over. One more on the bottom. Yep. Whoa! <laughs> yes! And then you just throw Not that on messy. top of our uh, pole there. That's fantastic. And then Jeff already brought this one. This is the head drilled on the bottom there, but he did gut this one and carve it. And you throw that on top there, and you create a really cool pumpkin statue in your yard. I love that. That's different than what you're going to see, I think, in anyone else's yard. But... Yes. Very simple. To gut the pumpkin, that's a whole different story. Because first, you got to cut it, right? So you did this one on the bottom. Why'd you do it on the bottom? Sometimes we do it on the bottom if we want to get the uh, pumpkin to lean a certain direction. Oh, yeah, or, sometimes you get those wobbly ones. And they're not always perfectly round like you buy uh, the plastic ones. Right, and you get to use the stem as the nose here and use these little woodworking tools that uh, to, to make this design here. So that's really cool. But you can also use this little thing. Look at it. It's like a little Courtney drill. It's so cute. Oh, so you, if you want, you can just use one of these little tiny drills, or if you have the woodworking tools, That's go right. for it. So, let's so, gut this baby. Normally, when we do it, yeah, here's what you use. Yeah. That's yeah. It's, it's kind of hard to kind of do this, or you can get the little baby tool. It's just so cute, but it's just, oh, it already broke. Okay, it's, it's That's very fun. sad. <laughs> or yes, yes. Reciprocating saw. Okay. So I'm gonna let you off. do this, one, Courtney. You I'm start just, it. I'll hold it. I'm just going to jam it in there and just go. There oh, we just go. go? That's, That's it? Yours. All right. Pull the trigger, and I'm going to turn it Pull around for you. Pull the trigger. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's it. Oh, my gosh. Your kid can do that if I can do that. All right, Very now, simple. next is the pumpkin gutting, which I loved as a kid because I didn't care about getting messy. It's all weird. But you use this little scoopy thing. It's going to take forever. No, no, no. It hurts let's let's use the uh, power tool for More that. power. Yes. This is what's called a pumpkin gutter. Here it is over here they in the are, package. Pumpkin hard to gutter. find sometimes. We found this one down the street. Uh, Frank, let me, I gotta clear off the camera here. It's got some pumpkin guts on it. There we go. All right. But you put that into your drill. It's just so what we do. The, the you try over the here at uh, St. Luke's Methodist Church are gonna be happy when we leave. So you just gut it in there. That is a lot easier. Yes, I love that. All right, we're going to move on from there, but that is good stuff. Now, if you don't want to get as messy or maybe hit, keep things a little simple, maybe a modern design here, this is really cool. All you did was use some of these three-quarter inch bits. Is am I saying that yep, correctly? that's exactly it. <laughs> and you drill these holes and put these little, I don't know, rock, decorative little rocks in there. So when you put the lights, that's going to Look like a little rainbow. This looks really cool. It wouldn't show up today because it's too bright outside. Right. But if you want something a little less macabre, you know, you go for something that's just kind of fun. Or this, you know, look at all this stuff you have just kind of hanging out around your garage. Nails, this weird stopper thing here. You can use this with your kid and just kind of drill a little hole in and uh, make the eyes here. I'm going to use this stopper as the nose. I guess I'll just jam it in there. Yeah, that makes a good nose. And then my favorite is the earrings. You got a little carabiner and... I don't know if you're a boy watching, you might know what that is, but to me, it's a pumpkin earring today. And you just shove that in there so your kid can help you do that, too, which I love. And, of course, 
The kids at Pure Sound Youth Choir that are hanging out over here, they did a little decoration on this uh, chalkboard paint pumpkin, and then I did one too. Oh, I love Great Day Houston. So, fun ways to uh, use the power tools, always use your safety glasses, right? right. Do you have fun doing some of these today? I, it was a lot of fun. It can be messy too, but just have fun that's the big All right, part if you it. have anything around your house that you need mr handyman and the pumpkin patch here for the pure sound youth choir is open daily from 10 to 6. i think they're open a little earlier on sundays but deborah i'm going to send it back to you i love you yeah i love that one but i love the, the light bright pumpkin and then the one where you can keep your your drinks cold right there that's pretty yeah, awesome too one. i know isn't that great yeah I yeah. Actually, um, hey ask him what he's doing next week because my husband has volunteered again for my Definitely son's boy scout troop. The house. yeah boy scout troop <laughs> is actually going to do pumpkin carving we at our house the boy okay scout troop at our house is doing pumpkin yeah, carving yeah so she you might gotta need come you. over i'm afraid that my husband's well, leading this we can thing. do as much or as little as she needs <laughs> yeah, <right>. <laughs> okay <laughs> and i'm glad you all didn't lose any hands right there okay yeah, for more information did. about mr handyman and more pumpkin carving tips go to greatdayhouston.com and click on thursday links and two people in our audience are going home with a half day worth of work around the house from mr handyman yeah yeah. Congratulations to Nikki Johnson and Shawnee Renee. Get some honeydews taken care of. Well, some use power tools to create works of art, but up next, a look at some other local artists who use metal, glass, and mixed media to create special pieces.